Hi, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use VI or VI or VIM or VIM as you might want to call it, text editor. You might want to use this as if you are at a uh, logging into a server or something. Uh, anyway, to get there you type VI or VIM and then the name of the file that you want to edit. I'm going to edit this file called index.html and as soon as I type that it opens up an editor. Now my mouse is no good at this point, so to move around you simply use the arrow keys. And something to know about VI is that you are always in some certain mode as they call it. And right now we are in what is called normal mode. I'm going to show you how to move around to the different modes and just do some basic editing. Uh, the only thing that stinks about VI is that you can wind up getting the file all goofed up and then you uh, don't know how to get out of the file and you're afraid you're going to save something. So I'm going to show you essentially what is the panic button. Uh, and that is you hit the escape key. I'm hitting the escape key. You can hit it as many times as you want until you start to hear, uh, you might hear a beep or something. Uh, that means we're back in normal mode. You can always just keep hitting escape and you'll wind up back in normal mode. And then once you're in normal mode you can enter uh, commands and the command that we're interested in is you hit colon so now we're in going to enter a command and you can see that down here and then a Q followed by an exclamation mark Q means quit and the exclamation mark means forced quit so even if there are any changes to the file and that's important because if you sort of get lost which you can do this is just like the do-over so now we are we didn't save anything um, that's what I consider the panic button and that is uh, helpful even for me at this point. So anyway we're in normal mode here. I've opened the file back up and really to do anything though we need to go into some other kind of mode. So there's uh, insert, append, and replace are probably the main ones that you would use. Um, insert and append are essentially the same thing. It just means start inserting where you're at and I'm going to do that here. So I hit the I and the, the keys are I for insert, A for append, and R for replace, so they're pretty easy to remember. So I'm gonna, if I hit I here, you can see down there it says I'm in insert mode, and I can start typing. There we go. And then when I hit escape, now I'm back in normal mode so I can move around. This important thing is once you're finished typing, you always should hit escape so that you can go back to moving around. Now append mode, um, you don't notice the difference so much until I'm at this last character here. If I type I and I start typing, you see the uh, um, the arrow is is not moving. <clears throat> I just undid that. I hit escape and I pressed U and that undid the typing. What I really wanted was to say insert at the uh, end of this line, so I need to type A. That means start appending after where I'm at. So okay, so that is insert and append and in addition to the lowercase i and lowercase a you can do the uppercase i and uppercase a and it's the same thing but it just has a convenience of moving you to the beginning or the end of the line so I'm gonna hit uppercase i see it moved me to the very beginning and I'm gonna hit escape and I'm back in normal mode and if I hit shift a capital A it puts me right at the end of the line and then escape and I'm back in normal mode now to replace it's a little bit different. Uh, the lowercase r only goes into replace mode for one character. So I can type r and then I'm going to just type another letter so let's just say z. You can see it replaced that t with a z right there. Uh, but I'm no longer in edit mode, it's just a one character so it's not super useful. Uh, but if you hit shift and r it just goes into sort of permanent replace mode. So I'm going to hold shift and r down. Now I'm in replace mode, and I hit escape, and I'm back out. There we go. So I can even insert, put another space. So that's the basics of just getting stuff in. And now deleting is something that you would need to do too. This is typical editing here. Uh, to delete, first get yourself into normal mode, hit escape. And if you hit the X key, it will delete right at the character where the cursor is. So I hit X. X and I don't actually go into insert mode at that point. I'm just in normal mode the whole time, deleting everything. There we go. 
And if I wanted to delete this whole line while I'm still in normal mode, you hit D twice. So D, D. So here we go, D, D. The whole line is gone. Um, another thing is sometimes you want to sort of delete this uh, line break at the end of this line. That's actually called join. And the key to do that is capital J for join. So you hold down shift and J and it appends the previous line on with the next line. I sort of consider that a, a delete because we're deleting the line break at the end of the line. So now that I'm finished editing this file, I want to save it. So again, you can always hit escape. I keep repeating that because uh, I hit escape a lot just to make sure I'm in normal mode. And then you hold down shift and Z, Z. So you hit the Z key twice while holding down shift. Shift, Z, Z. That saves and exits. So we just save the file. If we open it back up, we can see here the um, you know the title that I deleted and the meta tags are right next to each other. So that's your basic editing. And the next thing that you probably would want to do is to search through a file. So to search, you do that using either the forward slash key or the question mark. And for me, I always just use the forward slash. It basically means search forward or backward. I just use the forward slash, means search forward. And so we'll say, I'm going to look for .css. And when I hit enter, it takes me to the first occurrence of CSS there. And now if I want to go to the next result or the previous result, I just use N for next and then shift N for previous. So there you can see it taking me to the next and then it's told me that we've uh, reached the top of the file and it's going through. I'm just still hitting the N key. And if I hit shift and N, there we can see it's going up so I can go. Uh, and that's really important to know how to search through a file when you're in here. Now on to the next more advanced topic, copy and paste, which is another thing that's handy to know how to do. So you've got a couple of choices for copy and paste. You can either just copy an entire line or you can copy a selection. If I want to copy this entire line, I hold down Y twice. I hit it. Y stands for yank and it means yank whatever the contents are into a register. So if I hit YY, it doesn't show me anything. But then if I move down to the next line, I can hit P for paste or put as they refer to it, P. And it's just pasted that exact line there. If I only want to copy a little bit though, I need to select some text. And to select text, you use the V key, which actually stands for visual mode. But if I hit V, then you can see that I'm in visual mode down at the bottom. And I move the cursor over to just the end of here, let's say. Okay. And then I hold down Y, and that copies whatever is selected into the buffer myself a couple of lines and then I hit P again and there we go so we've gone through inserting deleting opening files searching copy and paste those are just about everything that you're going to need to know to do just about any type of editing that you would want but I'm going to show you one more advanced feature and that is dealing with windows so to give you um, something that's actually really helpful. I'm in uh, normal mode. If I hit the colon and I type VI usage, VI usage. You see I have two windows now and the top window where I'm at is actually um, shows you all of the commands. So this is really handy to keep open because you can use it as a reference. And But I need to know how to switch windows so when you're when you want to issue a window command, you just hit Control W, and then the next thing that you type will be a window command. And so when I press Control W, now I can either press the arrow up or down, and it will move to that window. So you can also use the letter T and the letter D for top window and bottom window, but uh, the arrow should work. So once again, now I'm in the file that I'm editing, and all of the normal commands apply. It's just like two windows open side by side. So um, I can uh, go to Control W and go back up to this window. So now I'm back in here, and I can search for uh, 
I can search this file for, let's just say, um, search. There we go. So you can see right there, it just it just took me to search, and I can hit the N key, and it's telling me the keys that I need to search. Uh, so that's a really good thing to know. And then when you're done with this window, you can do the uh, um, colon Q. And since we didn't make any changes, we don't need to put the exclamation mark, but we can anyway. Um, and then we're back to just one window. So that's how you navigate Windows and how you actually open up a file reference for yourself. And if you want to open your own files up in multiple windows, I can say vim-o, capital letter, and let's say I want to open up index.html as well as .htaccess at the same time. So I have two windows. Control w goes into window mode, and I can flip between the two if you can see the... Uh, there we go, I'm in the left one now. If I hit Control w left arrow, now I'm in the one on the left. So I'm editing two different files side by side. And whichever one I'm in, again, the commands apply. So let's say I'm done editing this and I wanted to save it. Shift-Z-Z. And I'm left with one window. If I Shift-Z-Z that, there we go. All right. So I hope that was helpful, showing you how to use VI. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.